And welcome back. We are here with Tracy Tellman, and I joke that I find her to be the safety seat superwoman because oh. she is the one that I know <laughs> that knows all about this. But once again, give your real title, Tracy. I'm the traffic safety specialist for the Texas Department of Transportation. Okay, see, I like superwoman once again much better. I kind of like it too. Uh -huh. It makes me sound much, you know, more than I really am. You're impressive. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Impressive because you're <laughs> filling us in today on the convertible car seat. Tell us about the convertible car seat. Right. Now, a convertible car seat is for the child who's outgrown their infant seat, mm -hmm. or you could use it for a newborn. The problem is you're not going to be able to fit that newborn very well. Okay. And some rules about the a convertible seat is you're going to use it rear facing first, of course, and you want the harness straps to be coming out at or below the baby's shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's important. You also, again, want the uh, straps to be tight enough you can't pinch the strap at the shoulder. Okay. And then this harness clip has to be even with the baby's shoulders. Got it. I mean, I'm sorry, baby's, baby's underarms. Okay, under gotcha. Arms. Okay. Underarms right there. And now we've got it in the rear facing mode. Of course, this is called a convertible seat because it goes rear facing and forward facing. Okay, the question when do you go forward? And uh, not until the child has either outgrown their rear-facing capacity of the seat or the child is at least two years old. Rear-facing capacity of the seat, so different convertible seats are different. Right. Okay. This particular seat goes to 35 pounds. Some okay. go to 40 pounds now. So um, two years old is the minimum now. Okay. So you do want to keep them rear-facing till two years old. Right. The American okay. Academy of Pediatrics has found that that's going to keep them the safest. Okay. Because the rear-facing seat like this supports their head, neck, and spine. Okay. When they're forward-facing, all the crash forces go right to that area. Oh, okay. So if they're younger, those areas are not developed right. and the child could suffer an injury if they were um, yeah. forward-facing too soon. Okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for rear-facing course, the seat's going to be reclined. You can okay. see we've got a little recline mechanism underneath mm -hmm. here, and it just flips. So now the seat oh. is upright for forward-facing. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. And the same rules apply, you know, uh, at, or, at or above the shoulders for forward facing. Okay. Okay. At, at or, or below above. for rear facing. So it's a little different. The crash dynamics are different. Okay. Okay. Same rules. Harness tight enough you can't pinch the strap. Got and, it. Uh, at the underarms. Now the difference is going to be where we put our seat belt. For rear facing, it's going to go down here under the thighs. Okay. And for forward facing, it's going to go back behind. And you say the seat belt, once again, we use, use the latch well, for and our infant one. Right, right and you can use either one. It's crash okay. tested both ways. Okay. It works just the same way okay. either way. Okay. Okay. Because I'm going latch, it seems a lot easier than seat belt. It can be. Okay. But we do want the child to be in the middle of the back seat, and not all vehicles have latch in the rear center. So you may have to use the seat belt. I learn something every time you are here. <laughs> because well, you're right. So you want them in that middle seat. Yes, okay. because they're isolated from a side impact. You're right. Yeah. Oh, Tracy, I've yeah. been doing things all well, long. Well, yeah, and you learn. Every yeah, day you yeah, learn, you like do. you said. Mm -hmm. um, and you do, when it's forward-facing, want to use this tether strap as well. If I can get it off of there. Oh, uh, Tracy. And it usually goes on the, like, rear dash or behind the seat. But just <sighs> for forward-facing. Okay. Forward well, you're going to kill me now because we have run out of time. Okay. But I know if people have questions, check it out. ConnectAmarillo.com. We have information right. there, of course. But Tracy Tillman with Tech Talk, thank you once again for helping sure. us. She'll be back. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.